Hey guys, this is a video on the Watt Bike Model B uh, console. The issue these guys have been having is that the screen is either freezing or you'll do your standard workout and then it won't give you a summary at the end. Um, and then possibly you've got to reach through to uh, hit this reset button uh, to try and reset it to get it going. So this model is the uh, the model Model B. W, WPM Model B white, white console and what I've found is is that it's actually the batteries this is the original battery out of this uh, console that's actually flat and also this tiny um, or small button battery the, um, the 3 volt battery as well so if I just test this um, test the original battery this battery you can see is not even bringing up any reading on the multimeter there and then this new battery I've got here. Uh, let me try and do this. You can see there is a 7.89, 7.88 uh, volts. So these batteries are. 7.4 uh, volts, 2.6 amp hours. So anything sort of over 7.4 means it's got charge in the uh, battery. So um, if that's the case, if you're over 7.4, then there's a chance it's not the battery that's the issue. Um, and then also you can check this uh, battery here, which is this, this is the original button battery um, from the console which if I put on those two terminals, you can see the multimeter there is 2.88 volts as well. So this is a three volt uh, watch battery, a button battery. So when this these batteries are new, they'd be like 3.2 or 3.3 or 3.4, depending on the quality of the battery. Um, I can show you this battery here that I've already fitted. This is the new battery. Uh, if I can get these terminals to click. There we go, so you got 3.33 uh, volts. So that means it's it's charged, it's a charged battery. So if you, if these, but if the voltage of your battery is a three volt, if it's reading over three volts, then it, it has some charge. If it's 3.3 or 3.4 or 3.5 or 3.2, then yes, it's got some charge. And same thing with these, um, uh, these cell batteries here. If it's uh, 7.4 volts, 2.5 amp hour, and the, up, the upgraded uh, battery that they're supplying with these now is a 7.4 volt, 2.6 amp hour uh, battery, so a little bit better there. So this issue will be fixed by that, by basically just replacing the two batteries inside the console here. And then you'll find if I flip this over, because before it wasn't even turning on, which this model here now will turn on when I hit the on button, and then it's gonna save all, all your details. It'll reset now. Um, but um, that's the case there so if it won't save your workout it won't give you a summary of the reading it could be uh, just that that the one or both of the batteries are flat um, or also it can be this um, SD card here so what you can do is you can pull this out oh they're hard to get out You can pull these SD cards out here and then there's a chance there's an issue with these SD cards as well so sometimes you might need to get a new uh, SD card from what bike and then you can fit that in there or sometimes even just unplugging this SD card and plugging it in, in again may also fix your issue which you might want to try that first uh, it is always good to have these connected to mains power if you do have the power adapter that comes to the wall that mounts into the wall it is best to have it powered up um, through that but yes, obviously you've got the battery here as well, but uh, you can also recharge the battery by plugging in the, the, the power adapter or just leaving the power adapter plugged in if you've got your bike in a position where you can leave it always plugged in. Uh, so that's uh, some fault finding on the, on, the, um, on the Watt Bike Model B, the WPM Model B 
uh, console. Thank you.